Hello everyone, and welcome back to our Champions of Meandir gameplay video series. I'm Alvin, the designer and game director for Champions, and I'm here with George, Kim, and Nick. If you're new here and you'd like to learn how to play this game, please check out our Learn to Play Champions of Meandir video playlist. Link to it will be in the video description. Just a quick reminder that we rely on viewers like you to help our channel grow. Liking, subscribing, and sharing are easy and free ways to show your support. And if you're interested in joining us for a future episode, feel free to reach out and let us know. You can also leave a comment to help us improve, or just to tell us what you'd like to see next. Okay, let's go ahead and introduce the decks we'll be playing today, starting with George. Hey everyone, I'm playing uh, my Emerald Dreams V2, my Mufari deck. It's a deck that relies on a lot of optimism, but it's also a deck that's more realist if you remember and know what I mean by that, then yeah. congratulations. The secrets are already out. All right, next up we have Kim. Hello, I'm playing Bailey Scrapyard Worker. I'm all about items and tossing them out for value and then making big denizens to keep the board clear. Very cool. Excited to see what you came up with. All right, next up we have Nick. All right, today's deck is piloted by Tren, the Academy Professor. Although in my, my lore for this mis particular deck is that Tren has left the Academy behind and he's <laughs> gone to teach in the New World and where they're sort of a little bit more wild and, and things that may be more rural out there. So Whoa. see how he handles this sort of teaching lesson. That is so <laughs> cool. I can't wait to see this interesting spin on Tren's career. All right. And finally, we have me. I'll be playing Eldrian Famed Explorer. This deck is a combo deck that's attempting to combine token generators with copy effects to produce swarms of tokens. Let's see if I can draw the right pieces in the right order and make that happen. That's it for the intros. Mulligans have been completed. Let's begin the game. Kicking off turn one with my gold. We'll start by making some space in my hand for this hidden waterfall uh, to take a free draw. Wouldn't you know it, we all love turn one play oh. Kalmea City of Light. Oh. So Kalnea, the City of Light, makes uh, everybody draw a card at the table. Of course, if your hand is full, you're going to, I believe, technically put a card into your hand, but immediately have to put it directly back on top, which is a bit of a, you know, it's free information for you all. But while your hands are full, it's really great to play this. Take advantage of that. That's right. We get to view the top one card, correct? That's right, because it goes into your That'll hand, the and then you put it back on top, which essentially allows you to see what's on the top of your deck. Okay. Sounds great. I will... Uh, just use my first gold to search up the hidden waterfall. Looking for some treasure. Classic T1 play. And be finished. Okay, okay, okay. Get my gold for turn. I will actually, because I know what the top card of my deck is, I will play the Clever Path, but I will not use its arrival right away. I'm going to draw my card with the free draw. Now I'm going to use the arrival ability of Quiet Path to take a look at the top card. And yeah, I think I'll keep that. That's pretty cool. Um, all right, and then I will now play Hidden Waterfall to clear a spot in my hand so I can abandon Quiet Path and draw the card that I saw that I liked. And then now I'm going to play Verdant Path. And I'm going to use the arrival of Verdant Path to look at the top of my deck. Uh, I will put that to the bottom. And then I will use my one gold to search my Hidden Waterfall, just like Nick did. And then I will pass that way. Okay. Time for Time Force. One gold. Let's put out a hidden flower patch. Uh, we're all we're all hiddening it up today, huh? All about hiddens, man. And you know what? Perhaps I should do that draw now and put my gold into my hidden flower patch. And I pass. Sounds great. I'm going to start off my turn by playing two locations and drawing my free card nice. from the deck. And then I will play the Silver Dagger out of my hand. Cool. And pass my turn. All right. Start my turn with gold gain. I think we will activate the Hidden Waterfall one more time. We go up a gold. Nice, nice. Acceleration, you know. And I will play out a campaign. Population boom. Mm. Very cool. Um, then I'll take my free draw for the turn and uh, be done with plays. Pass. All right. Grab my goal for turn. I will use my free draw right away. And 
yeah, just like Nick, I am also going to use my hidden waterfall. I'm going to spend one gold, putting a search counter, going up two gold for a total of three gold. And then I too will play a campaign, not population boom, but work the fields. <laughs> and then I am going to play and abandon the familiar road to draw a card. And that'll be it for me. Pass it over to you, George. Okay, George's turn. So the best thing I could do for myself is for me to play the Denzian Port of Friends. Use my free draw, and I will pass. Wonderful. I'm going to start off my turn uh, by taking my free draw. OK. I'm going to play out Javelin Chucker. Hmm. Mm. That's a fun one. I'm going to pass my turn. Uh, you weren't wrong about keeping the board clear with your denizens. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Start my third turn, gain gold, pick up my population boons phase. I think we'll start this off by making some room in my hand. We'll play Diligent Farmer for two. <laughs> Use his activated ability. Up by oh, one. That's a problem. That's a card. I will, that needs yeah, not I will use Population Boom's phase ability to fetch a denizen from my deck. Cool. Threat appeared. People people always pop, start popping off on turn true, three, you know? True. Turn three is threat levels. Yeah. Sorry. I am going to reveal to you. Mm -hmm. Put it in my hand, Invasive Fungus. Oh, man. Whoa. And then play that for two gold. Oh, that's so brutal. And have Invasive Fungus. Give, this uh, is very un unfortunate. Give some, some weakening effect. That, that there barbarian over there. One of our javelins had a fungal infestation, it seems. Yeah. Unfortunate circumstances. <laughs> Weakness will reduce its power and its health by half, rounded up. Uh, which means if it has one health, then it will die. I'm just too strong for one health. Unfortunate. Right. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about that, but it's gonna it's gonna eat through my board if I don't. Yeah, we will take this opportunity to play a grand fish market and yep. draw a card since I only, uh, control two green aligned denizens. Keep the valley train going. Uh, let's just let's just keep this train rolling. Another grand oh, fish market geez. arrival. Too much value. Just cards. Yeah, got to do what I can with this this free card. Have I taken my free draw? I've, I've done so much. Uh, no, I think I fetched first. That's yeah, correct. Yeah. So yeah. we'll draw our free card for the turn. How much do I want to, like, play out one more thing? <laughs> just so if, if one of y'all plays Kalnea, I get a card. Things to think about. <laughs> I'll just play a hidden thicket. What's going to happen, you know? Uh... All right. Uh, and that's a heck of a turn three. I will pass. Yes. All right. Get gold for turn. Phase counter. Free draw. All right. I'm going to go ahead and produce a token with my... Work the fields. It'll be a diligent farmer. I'll use the diligent farmer to essentially go up one gold. So I'm going to play improve productivity for three gold. And then I'm going to play killer bees for one gold. That'll be it for my turn. Pass. Okay. My turn. A lot is going on. We have two diligent farmers. Threats. Threats everywhere. <laughs> Battle stations. <laughs> I play the location, Statue of the Beloved Queen. Cool. That gives me plus zero, plus one, and that's a plus one to my health for my supportive friends, because they always support me. Yeah. They do good work in your decks, George, I gotta say. That's true. You, you, you probably you. use them better than anyone else. Just considering drawing my free draw right now, or question... You should probably use your free draw. Yeah, probably right. You were so right. You were so right, Alvin, because now I got to play my location, Isolated Cottage. You know why? Because guess what? Welcome New Settlers is now in effect for me. Produce two settler tokens. Nice. Amazing. Yeah. And great thing about having two greens is wow, that fish Grand market. Fish Market as a location gets to be put in play. So it's Heck time yeah. for... Time for a draw card arrival. We all love that. I'm going to put this last gold into this mm -hmm. flower patch. All right, you're going to find a treasure. I'm going to find some treasure, sack this location, the abandon this location, because this leads me into playing the campaign Refuse Defeat that ah. uses up my last two gold. Genius. 200 IQ plays. Okay, uh, that was exciting. Um, you can attack if you want to get hostile. I do not 
want to get hostile just yet. You don't want to get restraining ordered? Nah. <laughs> These are nah. friends. Not yet. So At least not yet. Let's all keep it civil for a bit. Pass. <laughs> cool. Kim. I'll start my turn with a free draw, like any good turn does. Okay. I actually do enjoy this. I'm going to play out my champion, Ooh. Bailey Scrapyard Worker. Always an effect good. that I would control uh, would d deal damage to an item that I control. It destroys that item instead. And if an item that I control is destroyed, and, and it's my turn, uh, I score four points. Yeah, Using that, I'm going to burn. Nice. Yeah, I'm destroying my own silver dagger. Laying down arms. You're on and the I board. I four points. Love to see it. Pass my turn. All right, my turn. In gold, in phase counter, and uh, let's start with our free draw. Using Diligent Farmer's ability to go up a gold. I'll play my own Work the Fields. Oh, boy. We'll join you in the farmer production. Oh, boy. It's been in one of these fish markets. And yet more campaigns join the board with a mm -hmm. quest for the first vault. Quest for the first vault. That's a good one. Mm. Debating, making one attack. I think what I see on board is, is acceptable. Mm -hmm. So we will pass. Okie dokes. I am very happy to get to my turn because this turn is going to be exciting. I get my gold, get my phase counters, free draw. All right. So first, I'm going to create a diligent farmer. And then I'm going to have improved productivity. I'm going to activate improved productivity to give this farmer the ability, this denizen's activation limit is increased by one. Oh no. So now I'm going to use his ability two times to go up to six, and I'm going to use this guy's ability to go up to seven. I have a lot Huge of gold. Harvest. Um, I'm going to use four of that gold to play this card. Clever nice. imitation. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to use two gold to play invasive fungus, and I'm going to weaken this farmer here. Because Fine. you're going to get a lot more, so I'm just going to slow down your farmer oh. production just a little you're bit. You're one to talk. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm going to get a lot more, too, but I don't want to deal with my own farmers. <laughs> They're part of a union, you know, it gets complicated. <laughs> um, and then I think I actually would prefer not to use my last gold, so I'm just going to have an attack now. I'm going to take, the, take, out the, take out the friends. No! Because the bees are deadly, they will be able to remove the friends. All right, so I'll end my turn using they my... They frolicked too hard through the fields. Yes. Mm. Watch out for the bees. They're everywhere. Yep. Not the bees! All right. We're on turn four. Four gold it is. My hand is only five cards. So <laughs> guess what, kiddies? The free draw happens now! <laughs> kiddies, you say? Uh, this is Grand Fish Market. You have done your due diligence... I am abandoning you. Time for a work the fields campaign. Wait, we're all farming this episode? Oh, eh, yeah, it's Harvest Moon. Um, friends of Meandertown. Wow. Um, all right, Kim, now you got to play a work the field so we can have four of them in play at the same time. I do not run work the fields in my deck. Come Stardew on. combat. <laughs> <laughs> And, you know, just for good measure, uh, let's just, uh, let's just play another location, okay? Let's just play, uh, let's just play the Hidden Flower Patch. How about that, everybody? How about that? Is that okay? Is that okay with you, everybody? Is that fine? I'll allow it. You sound like, you, you sound like a, a guy who needs a hot pocket. <laughs> hot I mean, pocket. I'm a little hungry. I'm just, a, I'm, I'm a bit hungry. I could use a hot pocket. I could, hot pocket? I could, hot pocket would be absolutely fantastic. You know what? Let's just put in the counter. You know what? Let's absolutely just put in the counter. Um, this is still not resolved, so let's resolve it now. Uh, refuse defeat. Let's go with our, uh, the settler. Yeah, let's go with the settler. Mm -hmm. let's, let's go with I assume, I assume that. this farmer is not long for life now that this settler has acquired the will, oh, the will to fight all, all the wolves in the world. This guy, this, this settler understands that this, this gentleman right here needs to stop everything. All right. There you go. <laughs> so I pass my turn to Kim. Okay, I'll draw my card. I'll play a cliffside cottage. Nice, nice to see everyone running cottages. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I learned my lesson after my last game. <laughs> I will uh, abandon my other 
uh, location. Mm -hmm. And I'll use two gold to play Restless uh, Pyromantic. Ah, Restless Pyromaniac. Pyromaniac. Fun. Very mm -hmm. good in the Bailey deck. And then I will play my last two gold for a Javelin Chucker. Ooh, another one. All right. All right. Fun. And uh, I'll pass my turn. Start at five gold, up a phase counter, up a phase counter. You get a phase counter. <laughs> oh, and, so uh, much fetching. Yeah, what'll I what will I start with? I mean, a location will just come and go and be played without any gold. So let's start with quest for the first vault. We literally made the double the double fish market play, so that's not gonna happen. That's right. Um, no more fish. No more fish for your deck. All right. Everyone let's, stop uh, fish. This game is far too fishy for my liking. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Okay, I reveal to you Quiet Path, put into my hand, shuffle, play it, use its arrival, look at the top one card, no more of that. Um, we'll take a free draw. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, nice we'll to know you have a healthy fields. appreciation of puns, Kim. There's oh. no such thing as an unhealthy uh, uh, <laughs> Yes! Yes! What's that? Uh, yeah, we, we use them every time, right? Go up a gold. Okay, so we'll play yet another Invasive Fungus. Oh. No! This time it's coming Wait. for the farmers. Yeah. Well, yeah. I figured. Yeah. Bye, bye, farmer. This, this is aggressive. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the fungus literally can't attack. It's it's the most defensive card of all time. It's invasive. It's not aggressive. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm invading you. That's for sure. All right, and then uh, with the remaining four gold, let's get Tren onto the field. Uh, I have one population boom I can use. Uh, I think we just better do it. I mean, you can let it expire. You don't have to use it. <laughs> I reveal to you and put into my hand Watchtower Scout for future turns. All right, fine. What, are you trying to win or something? He's definitely gunning for the win. I gotta keep you guys off my back. <laughs> it's true. I will. Okay, so yeah, that's all I can do for my turn. We'll end and have Tren in me two points. Oh, nice. On the board. Stick around fungus. And that's it. Off to you. All right, so I am going to gain my gold. I'm going to get a bunch of phase counters. And then I'm going to use my free draw. So first, I'm going to go ahead and create a Diligent Farmer token with my Work to Fields, completing that campaign. And then I'm going to activate Diligent Farmer to go up one gold. All right. And then I'm going to abandon Hidden Waterfall to draw a card. Fantastic. All right, everyone. I managed to put my combo together. So here's how it's going to work. I'm going to play Traveling Caravan. One, two, three, four. Then I'm going to activate Clever Imitation, making a copy of Traveling Caravan. And then I'm going to activate Improved Productivity to give this Traveling Caravan activation limits are increased by one. So now I'm going to activate the arrival ability of this Traveling Caravan because I have abandoned a location this turn. I'm going to be able to produce three Settler Tokens. And then I'm going to activate oh it again, producing another three Settler Tokens. And then this copy is going to activate Arrival, mm. producing three more seller tokens. So All right, we have a lot of work to do, guys. <laughs> All right. A lot of aggression uh, needs to be going that way. All right. Now I'll play this location, the Tranquil Cottage. And then I will also play this location, Grand Fish Market. I will activate its arrival ability to draw a card. So because basically I'm public enemy number one now, I'm going to try to slow all of y'all down just a tad that's a scary sentence yep so first of all this i'm going to play obstructive roadblock to lock down this hidden flower patch oh come on <laughs> and then i'm going to play erase memories to remove all of trend's abilities what and then let's see. i've officially made myself public enemy number zero hmm <laughs> I'm Nobody on, on the board, board matters right now, except one yeah. person. <laughs> nah, <laughs> come on, guys. All right, pass. Well, that was elevating. We have five gold because we're on turn five. Listen, I'm only going to score 13 points if you guys don't do anything about it, okay? Jeez. Um... <laughs> He's about to hit a uh, limit, though. That's right, yeah. I can only have 20 things in my board only yeah let's get this phase one warp the fields and produce myself a diligent farm token right now you know what i want money 
just give this man a gold and then you are up gold and like i activate that game diligent farmer that's fantastic remember this guess what that ah, this diligent yes. farmer's be able to never be defeated ever in his life well i mean he can still get he can still get stung by b but yeah he, he it's won't. true he can in fact still get stung by bees he's not invincible but he can resist he can resist javelins now okay so remove distractions for two gold mm -hmm. did i use my free draw yet i do not believe so no you haven't i would like to draw that card now i will play familiar road right now and then immediately abandon it mm -hmm. demoralize ah all right good eat away at the board There's some hope definitely some hope come on guys let me have my Indeed. fun <clears throat> In, I was, well, your last yeah, time was fun enough, having, sorry. You're having a <laughs> lot of fun. And personally, I mean, it's so much fun that I need to also use the tactic Dishearten oh, man. On, this, on this Diligent Farmer immediately. Right, fine. Giving you any on, more man. gold is absolutely not proved. Um, Come on, guys. Hmm, I'm sorry. I really am, truly. You are one It was of only going to be 13 men. points. Come on. <laughs> only... <laughs> Yeah, only. That's to... not enough to win the game, you guys. Let's not all overreact now. <laughs> guys, relax. Like, it's just the game. Okay, but also, I would also enjoy playing Killer Bees as well. Ah, okay, so you got Ooh. one too. To take out my remaining gold, as well as to reduce my hand. And just a friendly reminder that this can attack. Oh, no, sorry. Well, I mean... I was well, I mean, I'm not going to yes, make you I do would, anything, I mean, but I would be surprised if you did not attack but I, I, Well, I mean, I have two... I have a farmer that can also hurt This can't attack yet. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I summoned in this turn. Um, yeah, I guess you're right. The only one I really should be using is is my... Okay, so yes. Now okay. I only have 11 denizens on my board, guys. Only. Well, only. He's getting low. He's getting low. I'm getting... Yeah, I'm getting, getting low, low, guys. <laughs> What is that? Can winning you... in two turns? That's so long from now. Can, yeah, can I mean, that's you like do something dude, about two this? turns. I'll that's like a whole other turn the next turn. Dice, All right. dice, big summon, big big summon, spawn summon. All right, I'll start with a draw. Ooh, okay, I like this. Uh, I'll start off by abandoning my hidden ticket just to draw a card. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I'll play out my dangerous path. Oh, did you announce your free draw, uh, by the way, Kim? I did use my free draw. Okay. Yes. Dangerous path. Uh, arrival ability is to look at the top, and I can put it on the bottom if I wish. Mm -hmm. So I'll look at the top card. I'll put it on the bottom. Then I will use one gold to play out Black Mora Powder. Nice. Oh. I assume uh, that's going play... right to the scrapyard. Oh, absolutely. But first, Whoa. I'll play Grand Gymnasium. Cool. Uh, for its arrival ability to draw a card if I control two or more denizens uh, that nice. are aligned to red. Lifting some then fire. I'm going to play Kazen, Freedom Fighter. Oh. For my final four. Oh. And I'm going to attack my Javelin Chucker at... Uh, let's just... How about your Traveling Caravan? Yep. I seem the one with this one, the real one. Yep. All right, and because the Javelin Chucker is ranged, she will not take any damage in return. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I'm going to attack Kazin at your other traveling caravan so that you can't copy it again. Aw, <laughs> come on, guys. Very, very you mean wise. you didn't want me to do that all over again? No, absolutely not. Do you guys not believe not. in fun? Is that what's what's happening here? Oh, oh, oh. Yes, and we're going to keep things fun by destroying okay. caravan. Oh, it's you mean fun for you? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> its aggression ability, Kazen's, uh, is to score points equal to the number of attacks that I made this turn, then produce a runaway slave token if I've scored three or more points this way, which I have not, uh, because I'm only going to score two points off of that. Uh, Did you not blow up an item? Did you not blow up the Moira, the bottle Moira? Kim doesn't with... have the goal to... Yeah, I do oh. not have the, the, the gold to blow up Black Mora. Okay. I'll go on to pass my turn. All right. Well, made a dent. I'll gain my gold and gain my phase counters and see where this turn takes me. Before I draw or fetch anything, we got to play something. I think uh, 
I think it's going to be this Watchtower Scout. I'll use Diligent Farmer's Ability, go up a gold. Uh, I'll use Quest for the First Vault and do the fetch, but I'm going to dig around in here to see... Okay, we'll do this. I will reveal to you a cottage of my own. Oh. Tranquil. For the future. With my gold used, I think uh, maybe he should uh, do some work in coming in to make an attack. We'll just take a settler down. Okay. Did they trade? We'll use work the fields to make a replacement farmer. <laughs> well, this farmer's going to come in and, and gain me yet another gold. Money bags. Yeah, okay. money bags. Uh, we'll have Tren. Definitely considering work the fields in my next deck. Mm. Make some mm. work on Especially this settler here. All right. Um, I haven't taken my free draw. Let's take a free draw. Mm, be good. Mm, mm. Man, these are some formidable uh, formations. I'm... Yeah. We'll just we'll just triple down, or work the fields. <laughs> what? And, in wartime. Uh, welcome to Did some new settlers. Boom. All right. <laughs> okay. I I think Nick is the the threat now. No, no, no. Yeah, it, I would it quickly hardly change hands, doesn't it? So Benny. I will make my own settlers. Abandon one location. Let's uh, let's take y'all off Kalnea just in case that matters. Abandon Kalnea. Draw one card. Mm -hmm. I put a card in my hand thanks to Quest. So Watchtower will be active. I'll insight. So all my denizens are perceptive. Let's just give them a little reminder instead of typing it all out. That's right. So insight is unlocked uh, because a card was put into Nick's hand via an effect, namely a location card via this. That was my contribution, and I think it put me in a good spot. So. Let's see what turn what comes of me. <laughs> yeah, you guys got rid of a lot of stuff. It's all good. Uh, I get my gold for turn. Get my face counters. Free draw. Uh, I will play Verdant Path. Use its arrival to look at the top card. Um, uh, you know what? I actually don't think I want that. All right, and then now I'm gonna abandon it to draw another card. Wait, are you kidding? Uh, all right. Well, the viewer just saw what happened there. That's kind of hilarious. Um, okay. Uh, I think I know. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm going to hey, go ahead and you. sell my obstructive roadblock to get one gold. Oh. And then I'm going to play this card here, Child of the Wild. And then I'm oh. going to do the whole song and dance, but this time with the Child of the Wild. So I'm going to use Clever Imitation hey. to produce a copy of Child of the Wild, completing that campaign. And then I'm going to activate Improve Productivity to give uh, Activation Limit plus one to this Child of the Wild, completing this campaign. So oh. now I'm going to use Child of the Wild's arrival ability to produce a Grey Wolf token. I'm going to do that one more time because its activation limit is increased. And then I'm going to do that with this one. All right. All right. So this man this time. just literally said, Kage Buchin no Jutsu. Don't know what that means, but all right. Uh, OK, play Eldrian right. for three gold. And then I'm going to use his arrival ability to fetch a location cardio. And that oh card. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's going to be this card, the Grand Fish Market. I'm going to play it and use its arrival ability to draw a card. And now, let's see. Do I want to attack? So here's the thing. If I, if you guys run Hostile Punishers, you would just sweep my entire board. And I would rather you not sweep my entire board. So I'm actually just going to sit pretty because I'm just trying to raise points here. Yeah. All right. right. So I'm going to end my turn scoring one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points. And pass it over to you, George. Well done, I would have to say. So I start off my turn with six gold, go back to work the field, produce a new diligent farmer, uh, remove distractions campaign, phase one, draw two cards, then discard a card. So I'm going to draw my two cards, put my chromatic ring in an inactive zone, uh, I'm going to use my Demoralize uh, phase one up to two Denzians, get negative one, negative one. So I'm going to choose two of your settlers. Say goodbye. Still me, eh? All right. Statue of the Beloved Queen. I'm sorry, my, my, my lady. I no longer need you and I'm abandoning you. <laughs> uh, you actually haven't used your free draw yet. That, that's because I'm maximizing my draws. Put one gold into my Diligent Farmer. I have to give another gold away for my digital for my diligent farmer over here. And then I have to give away another gold to put it in the hidden flower patch. More gold. Okay, so all I you have... kids and your gold ramping, man. <laughs> Let me use that free draw. Summon the Denzian master craftsman to the field. The beloved celebrity Denzian. 
Mufari into play. Ooh. I'm going to use my last goal to give Kim a Mufari's quarry. Sounds great. Regular token, Mufari's quarry. So I'm going to use my Settler to kill Kazen. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to use my Diligent Farmer to kill another one of Alvin's Settlers. You have Inspiration unlocked. Okay, so uh, because oh. George has played three or more cards this turn, Inspiration is unlocked, which allows him to fetch okay. an item. I was not sure. Yeah, so you can fetch an item card if you want. Okay. Okay. I termination? got Aww. Termination Notice. Okay. So I shuffle my deck, and I'm going to pass my turn. Uh, I'll draw my free card. Oh, wonderful. This uh -oh. is good. Uh -oh. I enjoy oh. this. I will play Bandit Raiders for six. Oh, Ooh. shoot. Yep. The Boys Bandit Raiders. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to attack my Javelin Chucker at Watchtower exactly. Scout. Uh, so All just right. a reminder so that... that everything of Nyx is perceptive. Uh, then I guess I'll attack it with uh, Bailey first, and right. then Javelin Chugger. Then I'm going to attack Bandit Raiders into uh, one of your Grey Wolves. Yep. Then on Aggression, I'll gain two and draw a card. Abandon Grand Gymnasium yep. to draw another card. I'm going to uh, pay another one to use my Pyromaniac to destroy my Black Mora Powder. Cool. Yep. Whoop. Gaining four points. And then... I'm going to use one final gold to burn uh, George's uh. card. Then uh, I don't have any additional uh, points I can get this turn, so I'll pass. I'll start it. It's turn seven. My phase counters. Let's start with the work the fields. Mm -hmm. A few more farmers. Oh, boy. And I will use uh, all three of them. Oh, three gold. Yikers. Oh, um. <laughs> <laughs> Money! Army! Free draw for the turn. Fair enough. We'll play a location. We'll abandon a location. Let's make it this hidden waterfall over here. Jeez, so much density. Oh, one so more. much abandon. So much phase. And gold. You got a lot of options. I think my option starts with Tren into Ye Old Settler. Yep. He's uh, on his way back home, and we will play him. Unlocking him finally. <laughs> uh. I will play Rive Insane for three. No! Maybe uh, yank out your last remaining juicy cards. Aw, oh, man! Oh! I got, you got rid of my Eldrian. Aw, oh, oh. man. That was my point winner. Oh, Hurts. With that in mind, my last move will be to play my own Eldrian. Oh, all right. Um, <laughs> With that in mind... Here's final right, so five. You convinced me to just gain more points this six. turn. Yeah. So 11. All right. So Double up, up on 13. those points. But I'll use the arrival oh, first. Let's uh, it'll be my deck. Sure. Let's get a verdant path. Reveal to you and put it in my hand. And play it. Shuffle first. Then use its ability for arrival. To look at the top one. I'll just leave it there. And that's all my gold. So I don't think I want to make any further attacks. We will move to the end of the turn. And Tren will score me six for... Mm -hmm. The loyal fungi and the farmer who's been sticking around, and Eldrain will gain me five because the settlers right. have been around but have no abilities. So that's 11. Very nice. All right. Do your worst. All right. Pass. Gain seven gold. Free draw. All right. This Eldrian is going to Spider Man meme this Eldrian. They're going to attack each other. Right. <laughs> and then I'm going to replay Eldrian. I'm going to use his arrival ability, looking for a location. And that location will be this card here, the Quiet Path. And then I'm going to go ahead and play the Quiet Path, looking at the top card. No, I don't think Next I want that. Enemy number one. And then I'm going to go ahead and abandon this fish market to draw a card. Everybody. Oh, get this up is on gone Alvin. now, by the way, Nick. Ah, uh, true. Wait a minute. Nick's winning. Everybody, stop beating up Alvin. Get Nick. <laughs> So I'm going to play and use Restraining Order to banish this. No. Mm. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and attack these two wolves into these two fungi. I mean, Dogs are notably good at finding mushrooms. And they do go to heaven. Mm -hmm. All of them. All of them. 
Uh, all right, then I will play and activate hidden waterfall to put a search counter on it. I'm gonna go ahead and have these two Child of the Wilds attack as well. So this Child of the Wilds is gonna attack this farmer. Wise. Um, and actually, you know what? I think I think I probably shouldn't go go all out still. So yeah, I'm actually just gonna have one Child of the Wild. Now I will go ahead and end my turn, scoring myself seven points, going up to 14, losing this gold and passing it to you, George. Cool beans, cool beans. Um... Something I would like to see in this game is mm -hmm. a unique denizen that put, like rewards you for being passive and not hostile. Yeah, that's coming mm -hmm. in the. Oh, that's that's the next the next generation has has that. Oh really? I need to look into it. Uh, it's it's not in the game yet. So basically, Kim, yeah. I don't know if you know, but I've I've already designed about five years into the future. So there oh, are boy. a lot more champions coming to the game. But I want to release slowly because I want to like because we are we do have a big backlog of art that's not done and also because i want to make sure that the game is balanced with each iteration but yeah you hear that everyone <laughs> we got more to come yeah a yeah, lot more, a lot more. If, the, if the finances allow and this game is still developed five years from now you will see there's there's a lot more coming so for this turn i'm going to work the fields produce another diligent farmer and that completes this we got another remove distractions where I will draw two cards and put away and throw the other away. All right, George, you got to get on the board, buddy. You're absolutely right. Thank you. I still have a free draw. I should probably take that now. I am going to use the tactic join the hunt. Nice. I'm going plus one, plus one. Desian becomes ranged. And I'm Not going bad. to get that to my diligent farmer that refuses defeat. He's so become a hunter. Add, yes. Okay, like I have to spend three gold and give it to my farmers. I'm going to use my settler and my diligent farmer to attack my Mufari's quarry. Okay. As well as my Mufari nice. himself. Nice, good sequencing, George. I net myself five points. Be nice. And I now give another gold to produce another Mufari. So you'll have Kim produce quarry. another one, I guess? Yes, okay. Kim will have to produce another Mufari's quarry because giving it to either of you is not Yeah, it's not a good me. idea. Don't give it right. to either of us. Beloved celebrity, mm -hmm. I would like to attack your settler. Yep. Phase two, up to two Denzines get two, two. So I'm going to have to see that gone and that gone, please, Nick. Farmers. It's demoralizing out here. They, got, they, they tried to learn, but it was too hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna play my one of my obstructive roadblocks. Oh boy! Uh, let's stop your uh, okay. tranquil cottage. And you know what? Let's stop. <laughs> let's stop Nix as well, <laughs> for good measure. All roads to the cottages are closed. Yeah. Yeah, we're done with all of that. No more cottage. All right. So just a tip. When you're playing this game, if you have multiple roadblocks out, all imprinting different things, one way to keep track of it is you can just write a little reminder saying roadblock one and roadblock two, and then whatever it is, the corresponding location that they're blocking has roadblock one or roadblock two, respectively. And then that way you can keep track of which roadblock is blocking which, so that if you want to get rid of the one that's blocking your stuff, you know which one to do. Really useful. My master craftsman and my diligent farmer to attack destroy the invasive fungus yep. Denzian. also play my chromatic ring mm -hmm. so i can abandon my hidden flower patch yes pass my turn uh i'll take my free draw play two unruly vandals <laughs> cool pay one gold to deal two damage to another denizen or item uh, I guess I'll choose the Child of the Wild over there. Uh, yep, this one. All right. And I'm going to attack. I'm going to check my Javelin Chucker into your Gray Wolf here. Ouch. Uh, this Mufari's Quarry token into this other Child of the Wild. Okay. And I think that'll be my turn. Very nice. All right. Back to me, huh? Gain the gold. Turn eight. Gain some phase counters. Let's take a free draw. Oh yeah, I remember that guy was there. I believe we'll just uh, go ahead and make the armor token. I think I will also abandon a location. Let's abandon this verdant path over here. Yeah. 
let us uh, punish all of you for oh. swinging oh. so so horrifically horrifically in this game. Oh. Brutal. Inside paranoia. Yeah. All ha hostile denizens out of here. Uh, I will use this newly arrived farmer to give me one gourd. I will play an astute scholar Whew. and use his arrival to draw two. A uh, hidden waterfall. What a punish. So well timed. My yeah. goodness. Yeah. I'm just going to say it right now. I had the winning turn. I hey, the, hey, it, it, well. Oh man. Yep. All yeah. I've done is made it so that nobody has the winning turn. <laughs> yeah. Trend. <laughs> Do a swingy swing into the settler. All right, fine. Um, all right, well then, if that's the case, we'll play killer bees instead. And then what we'll do is we'll we'll uh, put a search counter on this hidden waterfall and this hidden thicket for our remaining gold. Do I care about Mr. George's diligent farmers. Maybe I do. He's he's removed enough of mine. Let's let's return the favor. Ooh, <laughs> more attacks. We're getting very getting aggressive. Gone. Yes. All right. Take my free draw. All right. I'm gonna have Eldrian attack into this. Farmer, abandon this to draw another card. I'm going to play this, hidden thicket, and then I'm going to spend one gold to put a search counter on it. Um, all right, so I think I'm just going to have to do the super tragic thing of just ending my turn with seven unspent gold. Pass. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay, understood. Remove distractions, draw two cards. Let's do that first. Okay, so I'm going to play hidden thicket. Okay. I'm going to abandon hidden thicket. Okay. Black Mora Powder. Ooh. I play my Craftsman Apprentice. I play... Oh, this is gone, by the way, George. Art. I put it into the inactive zone. Did I use my free draw? No, still haven't. Using it now. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm going to play Mauricio. Ah, play okay. Luxurious Cottage. Beloved Celebrity as well. Mm-hmm. Actually, one, two, you had three. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You've played nine gold worth of stuff, but you should only have eight gold. So I'm going to take my chromatic ring and I'm going to put in the inactive zone. Selling so it sure that so that you have the one extra gold because you've played nine gold worth of stuff. I've, I've played nine gold worth of things and I need the extra gold. Use demoralizes phase three. I'm ring, going, ring, I, ring, 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 ring. On unruly vandals and on killer bees. All right. But I played everything I could, so I pass. Great. Start my turn with a gold and a pre-draw. This is a fun one. Yeah, you might potentially uh, I'll have I'll start a big by turn, playing though. my champion for two. So I'm going to use one gold to uh, target Tren. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll abandon this dangerous path to draw a card. I'll play Mia for four, oh. and Black oh. Mora Powder for one. Oh. Attack Unruly Vandals into Craftsman's Apprentice. All right, and since so it's attacked, will... it is now, or its aggression is now unlocked. And I'm going to George destroy my Black place. Mora Powder with that aggression ability. And gain four from Bailey. Very cool. Uh, then I'm going to pass my turn. Back to me. Turn nine. Gain gold. One last. I think we've seen the last of the farmers. Let's put one more into play. <laughs> Children farmer. Go ahead and use him. Gain a gold. And we'll take a free draw. We'll abandon Quiet Path. We'll trend for sure. Mm -hmm. That's four. Bees. Mm -hmm. Bees are back in town. Bees and are uh, back I lied town. about there being. No more diligent farmers because I just drew. Of course. Oh, <laughs> of course. That is absolutely all of them. Oh, brother, this guy stinks. <laughs> <laughs> we will use Hidden Waterfall and Hidden Thicket. Go up two gold. And we'll play Child of the Wild. Cool. Or is the arrival of Child of the Wild. Make it wolf. I suppose the best last thing we can do is to reconsider with Tren. We put one card on the bottom, put one card in my hand. We will simply end the turn. And Tren is very proud of his scholar, who lasted a whole round on this crazy board and gained me two points. And then we'll be finished. Yes. All right. Begin my turn. Get gold. Uh, let's not use my free draw yet. I'm going to have... Okay. I'm going to have Eldrian attacking to the Child of the Wild. And they'll trade. Down. And then I'll play Eldrian. One, two, three. And then I will use this arrival ability. Fetch a card that is a location and non-unique. All right. Let's fetch this card. The Tranquil Cottage. We'll play the Tranquil Cottage. 
And then we'll abandon this one that's locked down under the roadblock. Draw a card. And then now I'll use my free draw. Can't really do anything else. All right, so I'll play Traveling Caravan. One, two, three, four. I have abandoned a location this turn, so I will create some settlers. Uh, I'm going to play Invasive Fungus. Okay. I'm going to activate Invasive Fungus to weaken the bee. That's my turn. Everything entered this turn, so I'm not going to get any points. Pass. My turn. Turn nine, nine gold. Let's get that free draw. Craftsman's Apprentice for two gold. So I use Mufari's range to do damage to Mufari's quarry. All right. So it's okay. at two, three. And this time, Mufari actually will lose health because the beast is around to deal its damage back. This is probably the only real way I have left. I'm going to spend another gold. I'm going to give the gold to Mufari, to Kim, to make another Mufari's <laughs> quarry. All, All right. right. Basically, George, if Kim has even one item, that can be destroyed. That will be four points. And then all Kim would then have to do is activate this and then would score two more points with, with Mia. All right, if, so so the, the thing is, I mean, if I do not activate Mia, uh, you won't uh, Black Mora Powder it. Yes. Don't use her and I won't, not black, I won't be forced to use Black Mora Powder. Ever? Yeah, I think that's a good play. Yeah, basically. Okay, that's fine. All right. I, I'll agree uh, to that. Um, yep, that's very good. Shakes. Uh, so I pass my turn. All right. I'm going to do something maybe risky. I'm going to abandon my cliffside cottage. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yep. I mean, you can pay all the other oh, attacks you want now, I guess. I guess it's no big yep. deal. Uh, I'm going to play chromatic like ring. Oh, or you could just do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or I could just do that. <laughs> uh, Unfortunately, I can't do a combo, but I can attack my Reckless Pyromaniac into your Black Mora so that it doesn't hurt me later. Then I will Market Vendor, uh, just making sure I get everything I want to out before I destroy this Chromatic Ring. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah. Javelin Chucker. I'm going to attack Mufari's Quarry, the one that, uh, that is hostile, into your Mufari. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Incredible. And because it's... Kim's turn, and it's attacking. It's actually not going to take any damage. Mm -hmm. Shit, then I'm going to play Persuasive Might. Yeah, I'm going to use Restless Pyromaniac's uh, two damage ability to target Mer uh, Maurizio. Oh, of course. This is, this is masterful sequencing here. I'm going to attack Unruly and Vandals into... Great, 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 great. Uh, then I'm just going to have it attack your Hidden oh, Waterfall yeah, well, you could do that. right here. Just that, yeah. <laughs> One, two, three. Uh, then its aggression ability will destroy the chromatic ring. So cool. All right. uh, and I'm going to gain four points. Uh, this Mufari's quarry will attack in on this farmer. Yeah, it's, I think that'll be my plan. I'm going to attack this into that farmer. Sure. All right. And that'll be my turn. We'll start turn 10. Last one. Last yep. chance for romance. Let's draw a free card. Let us uh, abandon... We're not getting through this tranquil cottage, so he's out. Uh, just because it's funny, I we found um, Trent's second cottage. Nice, okay. the summer home. I, I don't need, I don't need it, but uh, we'll start with a battlefield plague. Oh, second oh, hostile. hostile punisher. Yep, yield oh, hostile yep. punisher. Oh, right. Mm. So, um, just in case the viewer is wondering, immune prevents power or health from being reduced by effects. So specifically, effects immune will protect from effects. Now that that's out of the way, I will do some attacking. Ben will do his signature Settler Punish. Grey Wolf will make an attack into Evasive Fungus. All right. We will play a Watchtower Scout. Another three. Oh I will reconsider with Tren for another one. I will... No, I was not part of this deal, so my Black Mora Powder <laughs> is going to target Mia. Ah. Uh, okay, that's unfortunate. Yep. More, yes. uh... And then Insight uh, is active on Watchtower Scout, so I will give all my denizens Perceptive. Oh, so close! I was so, so close. So close! Um, and, yeah. One, one gold left. Let's search this hidden thicket for turn 11, which is not coming. I will end my turn, and Tren will see two denizens with abilities and go to 19. Oh, so that's gold. so close. All right, I have to pray that I did enough stopping of other people's stuff. That's right. And highest. So it actually is still possible for Nick to win, 
because if the game mm-hmm. ends without anyone hitting 19, he will win the game for having 19 points. On yeah. the other hand, if anyone else besides Nick hits 19, based on the way the tiebreakers work, basically Nick cannot win if, if even one other person has 19 points. All right, get my gold for turn, draw a card, abandon this, draw a card. I'm just going to end my turn bit. and score three points going up to 17, uh, and then lose 10 gold. Pass. Draw a card. So if you if you drew into Death Striker and you have Ava. Nope. No, okay. I abandon my cottage to do another draw. It is disheartened. Yeah, I pass. Oh, this is so close. This is the last possible turn of the game. So guess what my last draw was? Us. Oh. <laughs> so so good. Duel at sunset. <laughs> Duel Jeez. at sunset. Good game. Oh, good game. All right. So when the game ends, Kim will have 18 points, George 5, me with 17. And Nick will have 19, and because the game ends with no one at 20, the game will go to the person with the greatest point total, which is Nick. G G. Woo! In the event of a tie, what happens? Okay, so yeah, good question. So in the event of a tie, if one of the players tied for the most points is the active player, that player will win. And if none of the players who are tied for the greatest points are the active player, then it'll go to the person who comes last in turn order of those players. So for example, if you ended the turn, or so you ended the game with 18, and Nick and I both had 19 points, the game would go to me because I come later in the, the turn order. On the other hand, oh, okay. if you had 19 and you ended the turn, you would be the active player at the end of the turn, and you would win for having 19 points. Okay. Yeah. Well, that was a good game. That was very, very so close. Forth. And actually, Kim had what was on board to win the game, but George had to make the deal with the Black Mora Powder to buy himself one more turn. It's very unfortunate. Kind of amazing. I think this is the first this is the first episode where someone wins without yeah, hitting 20 that's points. That's right. This yeah. is the first win by decision. Really? It's the yeah. first time. Yeah, the first time a player has time won without hitting 20 time. points. It wasn't even full of like uh, delays and all that. We were just playing turbo stuff, all the attacks everywhere. That's mm-hmm. right. Oh, so much burn. I made so 11 burn. denizens in one single turn, and it wasn't enough. So, George, you really struggled to, to score points that game. And you said at one point that you had the win if Nick didn't play the yes. Drive Insane. What was the win? Yes. I, I think I would like to know. Um, I had the Moiras. I could, I was going to, if I had, with the Killer Bees. I had the Moira and the Killer Bees. Oh, the, So I was going to, yeah, okay. I was going to make another Mufari's token, weaken one, instantly kill it with the killer bees, use the rest of my minions, my Denzians, to kill the other Mufari's token, and then use Mufari's token to weaken and... Uh, oh, and... Um, and you and had Mauricio. Do, either, yeah, I had Mauricio. And killing everything was going to play me right. into 15 points. Right, okay, yeah, that's right. So the, the deadly attacked into uh, Mufari's quarry that was Black Morad. So you would score two points off the, the deadly bee leaving and then another five points from the Mufari's quarry. And then you could do the same two things to the other Mufari's quarry, damaging them to three and then removing them to score another four points. And then one more five I points. The with the, that's right. So for I a total of 16 points. Had rain. That's right. I had joined the hunt. So you would well. have scored 16 so points like, in that turn. Yeah, that is I would have, yeah, kind I had of amazing. the win. Yeah. And if I could have drawn, and, and you, and the fact that you knew exactly, like you could read my deck to a T, and you knew exactly what I needed to turn this entire thing around, fantastic, yeah. fantastic, very good, very good game. Yeah, Mufari is absolutely a setup kind of uh, yeah. champion. Like the entire deck is going to be based off setup. I'm this close to winning like every game. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, you've won two, you've yeah, taken two episodes good. already. You're, you're, you're far from. But, Nick yeah. deserves this win. Nick deserves this win. Oh, absolutely. Thank yeah, you, absolutely. You. This is fantastic play by Nick. I, I lean pretty heavily on this Watchtower scout a lot, don't I? For like, oh, hands off my stuff. I'll be all, be all but look tricky. At it. Look at your, but your palms are 100% defensive. You are right. literally Netero yeah. from Hunter times Hunter with a thousand tricky. hands. Yeah. In no one suspects the scrolls. scholars. <laughs> like, 
All right, that'll do it for today's episode. We hope you had as much fun watching as we did playing. We sincerely hope you'll join us again next week for more Champions of Meandir gameplay. Bye-bye for now. Bye. Bye. Bye.